We gave Racing Poets readers the choice of 10 of the finest horse races ever staged and asked them to decide which one topped all others. Some of the most definitive flat races and jump races were in the list, but they decided, you decided, that Dancing Braves 1986 pre delight de Triomphe was the greatest horse race ever run. To mark that, we've come down to Cold Waltham near Pulbrook to meet up with Guy Harwood, the man who trained Dancing Brave throughout his career and to that iconic success at Longshot. So Guy, Racing Post readers have voted Dancing Brave's Art, the 1986 Art, to be the greatest race ever. As we look down the, the list of runners and riders, it was obvious it was an arc of exceptional quality. How did you feel going into it? Well, it was. It was a very exciting because it was a race of exceptional quality. And, I mean, Alec Head was absolutely certain that his horse could not possibly get beaten. And why were we even bothering to come? <laughs> uh, but there we go. I was, uh, it was uh, a huge challenge, but I think one which we accepted willingly and we were very confident that this horse would uh, win the race. What made you so confident? Well, one, he was the best horse I ever trained. He was a brilliant horse. There wasn't any doubt about that. And he was absolutely at peak uh, on the day of the race. So here we are. The stalls have opened. Dancing Brave drawn really wide there. Um, what were you expecting Pat to do? Uh, well, really, uh, one didn't ask Pat what he was going to do. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. He knew the horse. He'd ridden him uh, the winner of the King George. So he knew what he wanted to do. He knew the horse wanted holding up. He was drawn on the outside, which meant that he didn't want to... Uh, he, he wanted to get covered up, and therefore he, wa he either had to make all the running, which wouldn't have suited the horse, or he had to tuck in as he, as he has there. You because were watching from the grandstands, weren't you? I was watching from the grandstands. Yes. Probably my hand was shaking too much to be able to see what was going on, but, but uh, there was the commentary, and obviously... Uh, it's difficult to see in the stands when you're drawn on the outside, as this horse is now, he's fourth or fifth from last. Um, it's, a, it's a job to pick them up from, from the stands because uh, you've got a lot of horses on his inside, you've got th three horses on his inside. So he's three wide in the race here, uh, which isn't ideal in many ways, but at least it meant that he had an uninterrupted run. But, it's, but as you'll see in a minute, um, Pat actually tucks him in at the uh, three furlong marker. Uh, rather than pulling him out and, and waits, uh, he was supremely confident in the, in the acceleration the horse was going to show. So now we've just got to the top in the first turn. Um, the, the races at Longchamp don't really start until they enter the straight. There's a turn just before the straight, and we're coming up to, to that now. This is the first turn, if you like, into the straight. But the race, as you can see here, none of the jockeys are making a move. At this point in, in, in Longchamp, you wait. You have to wait until you're in the straight before you make a move. And Pat has actually tucked himself in there. He's now, he's now one off the rails, which is as close to the rails as he ever got. Now as he's just started to ease out there, He's it's, uh, coming up uh, behind Alec Head's horse, uh, who was, I think, the horse we thought we had to beat, and he's obviously tracked him as he was the horse that he, he was going to. And at this stage, he just hasn't quite picked up, and we wonder, I wonder what was going to happen, and then suddenly you see him pick up, and then it's all over. Um, I mean, he's just, he's just absolutely, he's one pulling up, in the words and the expression. Um, Extraordinary acceleration. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. I'm the confidence of Pat to wait, as he did, well after he turned into the final final straight was extraordinary. Um, and they got on a good gallop, which was great. It was a true run race, which made it easier to ride, of course. But it was uh, a nerve to to hold on until until he did. And to have whizzed past horses like Bering, Triptych, Sharastani, Shadari, like they were stood still. How mighty a performance do you think that was from that Fantastic. Day? I mean, it was it was a shattering performance uh, of ability. I mean, the horse was undoubtedly, uh, if not the best horse uh, we've ever seen, he's certainly one of the best we've ever seen without a shadow of doubt. And Guy, for you, the adrenaline rush that day must have been unprecedented for you. Well, it was. It was too a mighty relief to see him because actually, uh, you know, it's, it's a job to pick him up at the two furlong marker. Uh, 
and uh, then suddenly, I mean, he comes out and, and uh, away goes. Um, he is a fantastic horse, fantastic turn of foot, um, um, by a great stallion. And the Racing Post readers voted this the greatest race ever. Presumably you would concur with what they decided? Well, I absolutely would concur. I mean, the evidence is, uh, is, is absolutely there. I mean, the performance was mind-blowing. I mean, he's come from... He sat still pat, never moved on him until, what, a furlong and a half out? And he's covered and he's pulled him out and just for a second the horse appeared to hesitate and then he took off.